Hey everybody, this is Geneva of Geneva's Closet Talk Show. Please make sure you like and share this video and subscribe to Geneva's Closet if you haven't already done so right here on YouTube. And you can follow me on Facebook at what? At Geneva's Closet. And you can email me at Geneva's Closet 22 at gmail.com. Now, let's get into the news. I did not know that Sean Combs, aka Sean Love Combs, Puffy, Diddy, P, Diddy, Diddy, Daddy, Love, whatever. I did not know that he had a sister. Did you know that? Yes, and her name is Keisha Yvonne Combs, born on September 14th, 1971 in New York, and then everything they had her born in 1990. And I said, well, that can't be right unless she has a different daddy than Diddy, which is Melvin Combs, because Diddy's birthday is November 4th, 1969, giving him, him and his sister a two-year age difference. And they said that when his father was killed January of 1972, he was two years old. Well, if Keisha was born in September 1971, she was four months old, which means that Janice, the mama, who we will be getting into in the next video, and the daddy, they she really was raising two babies on her own, a two-year-old and a four-year-old. Oh, my goodness, that had to have been difficult. And they said that Daddy went to a private school, a Catholic school, or something. Well, Keisha did, too, because she went to Cardinal Hayes High School in Bronx, New York. I found this high school picture of her with her glasses and stuff on. I said, okay, go on, Keisha. So you may be asking at this very moment, you probably not, but you may be asking, so did she go to college and get a degree? And my response to that is, I don't know, but who needs a degree when Diddy is your brother? Because based on her LinkedIn and other information I found, she started working for her brother in 2002 as the director of media marketing and director of external affairs at Daddy's house social programs in New Jersey. Mm -hmm. But right before Keisha starts to work for her brother in 2002 when she was 31 years old, on September 19th, 1999 in Manhattan, New York, when Keisha was 28 years old, she marries a man by the name of Stephen Timothy Dent. And Stephen at the time was 33 years old. But this isn't just any old man. This is a hip hop producer. Wait a minute, I didn't even say that correctly. This isn't just a hip hop producer. This is a Grammy nominated music engineer who has worked on records for the Nictorious B.I.G., Mary J. Blige, Faith Evans, Little Kim, Nelly, and then some. And that's not it, people, because I found an interview with Stephen Dent where he mentioned that Diddy gave him his first group to work with, which was 112. And 112 came out in about 95, 96. So I'm assuming Stephen been working with Diddy ever since the early 90s. And ultimately, Stephen became the audio engineer and managing director at Daddy's House Recording Studio in New York in 2004. So the sister started working for Diddy in 2002 and her husband, the brother-in-law, started working for Diddy in 2004. Stephen Dent became a Grammy Award nominee in 99 and worked on the platinum album Bad Boys 2 in addition to the soundtrack for the movie Notorious. I mean, Stephen has worked with Shine, Diddy, of course, Nas, Black Rob, Kid Capri, SWV. Basically, his whole music career has been wrapped around Bad Boys and Diddy. But that makes sense, though, considering the fact of who his wife is. Mr. Stephen Timothy Dent is very active on social media. And based on what he wrote in 2022, I'm assuming that people were not happy that him and Keisha Combs were getting married. And this is what he wrote. Not many could conceive that it would last. Many bet against it. We never needed support from the many. Just the few that love and believe in us. But we believe in us more than the many ever could doubt. Mrs. K. Dent, my heart has been yours since the day we met. I have been forever blessed to have you through all the ups and downs of this world. This life has had its shared drama and excitement. Neither has changed our love. I only pray that I have been for you what you have been for me for 23 years. A famous person once said, can't stop, won't stop. He never knew he was talking about us. We got this, baby girl. Happy anniversary, still more to come. He wrote this on September 19th, 2022. Mm. Finding out that Keisha was married actually helped me with my research because it let me know that her name is not only Keisha Yvonne Combs, but is actually Keisha Dent too. But then I had found a name that said Keisha Kayla Dent. 
And I'm like, I don't even know if that goes with Keisha, if that has anything to do with her until I found uh, Steven and Keisha's Instagram page and seeing that Keisha Instagram name is Mrs. K Dent. So the name that I found, the Keisha Kayla Dent, you know, it's all related. I know you may be saying that, okay, so we know about Diddy's mom, Janice, his sister, Keisha, his father, Melvin, and we know about all Diddy's kids because he definitely got a lot of them. But does he have any nieces or nephews? Well, yes, he does. His sister, Keisha, and her husband, Stephen, they actually have a son named Stephen. I don't think he's a junior, but his name is Stephen, and he was born December of 2008, so he is currently going on 16 years old, and he seems to be a very active kid into a lot of sports and doing this thing, and you seen that picture with him and Cassie? Mm-hmm. I believe that when it comes to Diddy, his mom, Janice, and sister Keisha, people just basically want to know, did they know what was going on? Did they know how he was treating Cassie, that he was beating on Cassie like that? Did they know that he was beating on Kim Porter? Did they know how he was treating women in general? Did they know about his drug addiction and his sex parties? Did they know? I don't remember if it was Rodney or Gene Deal or them both that mentioned that Diddy slapped his mom or they heard that he slapped his mom. Did those things really happen? Do he have a lack of respect for women, period, including his mom and his sister? Did they know what was going on? Well, I'm assuming that since Diddy's brother-in-law, Stephen, worked with Diddy at Bad Boys with all the artists, that they knew a lot was going on. But anyway, while I was doing my internet surfing, I happened to come across a bio for Miss Keisha Combs Dent, and this is what it had to say. Born and raised in Harlem, New York, Keisha's journey in the entertainment industry began when she took on the role of a casting director. She quickly made a name for herself by working on casting for several blockbuster movies and popular television series. Her keen eye for talent and her ability to bring the right actors together have earned her the respect of industry professionals. She is a strong advocate for social justice and one of Keisha's most notable achievements is her advocacy for mental health awareness. Drawing from her own personal experiences, she has openly shared her journey with mental health and used her platform to bring awareness to the topic, encouraging open conversations and providing support to those in need. Keisha's bravery in speaking out about her own struggles has touched the lives of many and has inspired others to seek help and support. Now, when I read that, I must have said, Rich, really, Hitch. Is that so? If this is true, and that article is true, that means that Keisha is an advocate for mental health. She is an advocate for bullying. She is an advocate for abuse. That means she don't like that stuff. That makes me even more question: Did she know what was going on with Cassie? Because don't you know how sometimes family members do know? There's nothing that they can do to get you out of it, you know, because it's your own decision. But like, did she go over and talk to her and say, "Cassie, come on now, you're gonna have to get your mind and stuff together." Or not. Did she say, look, that's my brother. You know, he gave us jobs. We making money over here. He paying for stuff. So we just going to leave it alone. Like, I don't know. What do you think? I'm sitting here right now with Keisha Combs and Tyler Burrow. Hello, ladies and gents. Hosting a Hate the Hate event. What is, what is Hate the Hate and what it mean, uh, what it's about means? Well, when I saw her. Um, when Tyler had forwarded me the invitation and I saw what the event was for, I felt, you know, the need to come out. Um, I think it's important that um, folks are aware of, I guess, the hatred that is out there. What would you have to say to someone that's watching this interview right now on the interwebs? What would you have to say to them that uh, the youth that's being bullied that might consider suicide as an option? What would you say to them? I would tell them, you know, um, understand that you are special. Um, you're no different from no one else. Um, I would just ignore that person. Be the bigger person. Don't let words, hateful words or actions, determine who you are or what you're going to do. Live your life. Please find someone to talk to. Don't hold it inside. You have to speak up. That's the only way it's going to stop. If we all take a stand, we have to really all come together and just take a stand. I mean, you can't just be, like you say, you can't be the victim. 
fight. You're always, once the victim, always the victim. This is Keisha Combs. This is Tyler Burrow. Much Unite. love. <laughs> Unite. Unite. Now, what do you think of that? Considering the things that Keisha said in the interview and considering the fact that she has had her own mental issues and she fight for people that is being mistreated. I wonder, do she feel like Cassie was the victim or her brother is the victim? Were the women the victim or her brother the victim? What do you think? But anyway, make sure you stay tuned for part two of this video where we're going to get into uh, Diddy's mom, Janice, and his father, Melvin Combs. We're going to get into what exactly happened to Melvin. I found some details, some articles. We're going to put things in chronological order and some information about Janice Combs. That's not really out there on the internet, so I don't know if people know this or not, but we're going to get into it, so make sure you stay tuned for part two of this video, and tell me what you think of this, people. I would love to know. I would like to know how you all feel about this situation and why you are letting me know. Could you please like and share this video and subscribe to Geneva's Closet if you haven't already done so right here on YouTube, and you can follow me on Facebook at what? At Geneva's Closet, and you can email me at Geneva's Closet 22 at gmail.com. You all have a fabulous day and I will talk to you later. Bye.